Wigan against Bradford from the JJB Stadium. The Wigan Warriors lost 34-12 at Odds in round seven. That was on March the 24th. And the defeat sent Wigan to the bottom of the table. It's as though they go so far and they've just sort of, OK, we'll stay in one solid line. Paliasina gets the ball away to Mickey Hyam. And Mickey Hyam, he's missed again. It's a great offload and so is that. Here is Calder would come back inside, they must score. Ashton, Chris Ashton over under the post for Wigan. Chris Ashton with the try. Try number 11 of 2006, the most memorable year for young Chris Ashton. And if they are thinking about bringing Michael Withers here at fullback next year, well, you see a talent like that, why bother? Here is Stuart Field, and I think Stuart Field and then thought he was going to be the dummy runner. But a bit of a surprise when the ball uh, hit him straight in the breadbasket. Mickey Hyam. There's an old saying in Oh, it. what a run from Hyam again. Ashton is there once more. Ashton, he's got Van Apollo after him. Ashton has got Pat Richards. And Pat Richards has the second Wigan try. A sensational try from Wigan again. A beautiful break from Mickey Hyam. Support was there from Ashton. And he knew that Leslie Vinacolo was going to pull him down. So slipped the ball to Richards. And Richards over in the corner. Well, I tell you what, there is a little bit of uh, spite every time Stuart Fielden gets the ball. Bradford are hunting him. And there was a, a bit of an incident a few seconds ago. Oh, what a ball. It's Danny Orr. Danny Orr up there, up in support again. And it's Ashton. He's... No, it isn't. It's Dobson. It's Dobson who gets over for the try. They were all flooding forward then. There was a pick of five or six. And Dobson, he was the man who was tracking on the inside. He took the pass. And there is a quiet glow of satisfaction surrounding that young man at the moment. Quick play the ball again, Deacon. Oh, stolen by Pat Richards. Richards is away. He's got Yeston Harris out. Wigan's top scorer in Super League after that. It's his 12th of the season, and that just could be Super League in 2007 for the Wigan Warriors. Leslie Vinacolo took that very tight to the touchline on this near side. Spins it inside to Withers. Ball is dropped. Dobson! Wigan score right at the start of the second half. Referee. We'll just hand it upstairs to video referee Steve Presley to see whether it came off a Wigan player in the tackle or whether Dobson was stood in an offside position. Loses the ball because of her fantastic tackle. That for any youngster watching, is it Wayne Godwin hits up underneath the ball? Look at the determination on his face and the leg drive. Well, it certainly does hit Danny O's leg, I suspect. So he's going to go for no try. Oh. The try is given, Dobson gets his second of the night. And Wigan are coasting. Plays the ball on halfway to Henderson. He tips it inside to Deacon. Deacon finds Harris. They go wide. And here is Carl Price. Oh, the defence is gone. Price has Withers. That's a wonderful Bradford try. Magnificent try. Carl Price just ploughed the way down that right-hand side, and Withers was in support. O'Loughlin attacking the line, little dummy. Brushes off one tackler, can't get away from the next. Godwin again, down the short side. Godwin! Wayne Godwin, his 50th Wigan appearance, and he marks it with a try. Here are Bradford, they're considerably more behind, this is Henderson, 
Oh, friggin' clattering to the ground, Mickey Hyam and Chris Ashton. But Bradford not done yet. Great ball! And that's a great try from Andy Lynch. That's a wonderful try from Lynch. And it was a smashing ball inside from Paul Deacon. The next great young prop forward to come through. He's only 17, Sam Burgess. And it's good to see that some Whoa, of the... Oh, there's intercept. an interception for Carl Price. Well, Bradford are not done yet. 34 points to 14, kick to come. A big error. And Carl Price, he's a man mountain. And on top of that, Michael Dobson, who I can assure you had a few noughts less on his contract than what Stuart Fielding had. He has been really instrumental, and not only from his own personal point of view, his own play, Michael, but, but the way that he's injected Danny Orr into the game. Here's the man of the match, going in for a hat-trick in the corner! Michael Dobson, hat-trick! Wigan will be back in 2007. Brian Noble has engineered the victory against his former club. It has been a season of trial, tribulation, down here at the JJB Stadium. But now I think they can start to breathe easy. Significant night, remember, 100 years to the day since 13 aside rugby was introduced in this country. Wigan Warriors won that day, they beat Farrow 54-0, they have beaten a bigger prize tonight. They've beaten Bradford Bulls 38-16 and just about, we believe, just about settled themselves for 2007. And Wigan, they've now got 20 points. They are four points clear of the Wakefield Trinity Wildcats. And I can't see them being caught either. So a significant night. Wigan are safe and St. Helens, they are the league leaders.